ever wondered how robots interact with their environment? How they know when to stop or start, when to grip or release, or even how they navigate around obstacles? The magic behind this lies in digital inputs. First up, we have limit switches. These are the unsung heroes in the world of robotics, often used to indicate the endpoints of a robot's movement. Think of them as invisible boundaries that tell the robot, hey, you've reached your limit, stop moving. Next, we have proximity sensors. These sensors, often infrared or ultrasonic, are the eyes of a robot. They detect the presence or absence of objects within a certain range and provide a digital signal to indicate whether an object is detected or not. Then there are the humble button and switch inputs. These physical buttons or switches can initiate specific actions or modes in a robot. Imagine a start button that activates a robot's behavior, simple but powerful. Binary encoders are another type of digital input. They convert mechanical motion into digital signals and are used where precise position or rotation data is needed. Contact sensors, on the other hand, are like the tactile sense for robots. They provide a digital signal when physical contact is made, allowing a robot to know when an object is securely held. Optical encoders, much like their binary counterparts, translate mechanical motion, usually rotation, into digital signals. These are often used in robotic joints to measure the angle or position. Digital cameras are the eyes in the digital world. They provide visual data in the form of pixels, which are essentially binary data. Robots process these images to identify objects or patterns. Digital communication inputs are the channels through which robots receive digital signals. These signals conveyed through communication protocols such as Ethernet, USB, or serial communication can carry commands or data from external devices or systems. Binary sensors and light sensors are the final pieces of the puzzle. Binary sensors can trigger specific robot behaviors based on environmental changes, while digital light sensors detect changes in light intensity, allowing robots to respond to variations in lighting conditions. Each of these digital inputs is processed by the robot's control system or microcontroller. It interprets the state of the input. Is it on or off? high or low, and uses it to trigger specific actions, make decisions, or adjust the robot's behavior. So you see, digital inputs play a crucial role in the world of robotics. They are the unseen threads that connect the robot to its environment, allowing it to interact, respond to changes, and execute tasks autonomously or as directed by human operators. Without digital inputs, a robot would be like a ship without a rudder, drifting aimlessly and unable to fulfill its purpose. So next time you marvel at a robot's capabilities, remember the vital role of these digital inputs.